since maybe you've, you've grown up a little bit since the first camp or you've really been a, a an important guy yeah I, I feel like i've grown up a little bit you know being in this program for about two years now you know sitting in the background for a little bit you know you take you take a lot of things in from you know all the seniors and what they speak about and all the things that they go through to get to where they are so i mean i've grown up just between them they've led me co the coaches have led me seniors have led me so I feel like I'm mature enough right now to play. With so much depth at that position, what's been the biggest challenge for you throughout camp and maybe even in a team sense as well, working in with guys like you know, Shane and Tyler who transferred in? Uh, I feel like the biggest challenge really is just like, I, don't, I, don't, I really want to say it was really a challenge this camp for me. Like we were just, Coach, Coach Mayor like just put us in a room and just told us like we we're going to compete. And we're gonna have fun at it. So I mean, we all have fun competing with each other, and you know, pushing each other to be better. So it wasn't really like a, you know, that aspect of what you said is more just like we just competing and having fun, and, and that's just really what it was. You're saying the word fun a lot. Are you telling me you don't want camp to end? Huh? Are you telling me you don't want camp to end? Or are you nah, to I definitely, I definitely want camp to end. I want to get to the season, you know, for make our mark. I definitely want to get to the season. Camp was definitely fun, you know. We seen a lot. We, I grew as a player. I grew as a leader. I grew as a person who talks on the field. A lot of people showed up. A lot of people, you know, grew up with me. So camp was definitely fun. But we ready to get to the game. All that stuff that you talked about—the leadership and, and being on the field, and even just your knowledge of the defense—if you compared where you are now to like the first day of spring camp, uh huh? How I mean, how different is it? It's, it's a, it was more of a confidence thing for me, you know, not playing for two years and, you know, seeing the background, you can kind of get unconfident about your playing. And, you know, the first day of spring, I was just like, man, like, I didn't do what I wanted to do my first two years, so it's, I'm on a clean slate, so just show up and just do everything you can. I showed myself a little bit of what I could do, so, and then the first day of summer camp, it was not even, it was not even about confidence no more, it was more about, now let me establish myself as one of the players that can make plays, so. And I feel like I, I showed a glimpse of what I could do in camp, and it's time to get to the game. And Bella, you mentioned that you kind of had to sit in the background for your first two years, but what are we going to see when you step on that field for the first time? Uh, you know, whatever the coaches put me in position to do, really, whatever it is, the blitz, I'm going to execute. The pass coverage, I'm going to execute. The anything that they put me to do, I'm going to execute at a high level. And that's what I really think everybody should expect from me, is to execute on what the coaches want me to do at a high level. Do you have a favorite moment from camp? Scrimmages, drills, anything that stands out? Uh, my favorite, my favorite moment from camp really was this, like, let me think, let me think. <laughs> my favorite moment from camp was when I felt like I established myself as a player on the field, you know? Did that come during a certain drill or anything? Or did I that think, just come I think the first scrimmage where I really was like, okay, now it's, you know, now it's time to show everybody what I can do. And so that's what I really did in that first scrimmage. I felt like I did that, and I felt like my teammates gained respect for me as a player during that scrimmage. And that was part of the camp that I was most excited for because I understood, like, what I did kind of earned respect for my teammates a little bit, which I'm hoping to do more with the season coming up. You guys won that scrimmage, right? Uh, defense? Yeah. Yeah, we did win that scrimmage. I feel good. Huh? Well, Mike, what have you learned about the West Virginia rivalry? What do you expect next Thursday night? Uh, you know, I'm from Ohio, so this rivalry is kind of, you know, not the thing over there. So, I mean, what I've learned is really just like, it's a very deep, deep, deep rivalry between West Virginia and Pittsburgh. And the rivalry is dating back for a long time. And there's a lot of hatred between these two teams. But at the end of the day, we're competing. We want to get a good game out of it. We want to win the game and go back home and celebrate with everybody at Pittsburgh. And that's just the main goal, really, is... We we want to we, we understand that it's a, a big it's a big game, but we can't think too much of the game as in that aspect, and more of just you know X's and O's. Let's com execute and let's do our jobs and let's get off the field with a dub and go home and celebrate with our families and friends and our teammates. You talked about knowing that history of that rivalry. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have like a excitement to maybe carve your own part of history into that rivalry? Is there a want for you guys to say, all right, let's leave our mark? on the backyard brawl now that we get an opportunity to play in it. Yeah, because, you know, great players have played in that game. You know, we, Deshaun McCoy, Darrell Revis, a lot of them players played in the game, and, you know, that was a long time ago. A lot of us want to make our own marks. You know, we see the Darrell Revis touchdown, uh, the t uh, punt return back to four touchdown, and that's something a lot of people talk about, man. We want to make sure, like, when people, when kids, 
10, 20 years from now see that game, they be like, they be like, damn, like, we want to do the same thing whoever makes that play in the game does, you know? Because we watch the Real Reavers and we like, damn, we want to do that, you know? We want to make them type of plays to make everybody remember, like, when the back, backyard brawl was played in 2022, this is what he did and this is what he did, and everybody must respect that. A lot's been said about Servassier and his leadership. What have you benefited the most learning from him? Uh, so, so, uh, Voss is just like, you know, he's one of them leaders, man. Like, just the first day I got in here, he was always teaching me the ins and outs of everything. Film, study, plan, a lot of things. I've took a lot of things from him as a leader, as mo most, mostly as a friend, man. And he's, and I'm very excited to see what he do because he's been working really hard for this. And, you know, he's been working hard to be a leader. And, you know, he's going he's gonna to have a great season with that. First, you guys get trained in all three positions. You're mostly a star there, right? Yeah, uh, I made the switch uh, from camp, from spring, uh, spring camp to summer camp. Uh, just what the coaches believed in me to do, and I came and I executed, and that's the, just the main goal for the season is to execute at whatever position or whatever uh, job they want me to do. It's almost like another safety, right? Uh, I wouldn't say another safety, you know. I would say just a guy who could do everything, man. That's what I pride myself in doing, being able to do a lot of things for the coaches and being a lot of things for the defense. And I feel like the star position is called a star for a reason, you know.